I wanted to come here and talk to you guys about comfort zones and where I'm at and what's going on in this crazy mind and this, this, <sighs> yeah, welcome back. Welcome or welcome back to my, my channel. Hey guys welcome back to jennifer's corner thanks for coming oh my gosh i'm not comfortable okay you see how i'm just moving this cup around i've recorded this video about four times already and it just did not look good to me i finally figured it out yeah i got it to look decent so um with those four filmed videos my teeth's done now so I'm a little sad because I really don't even have the energy to go out and make another cup. So we're stuck with whatever's at the bottom of this cup, which is a little bit of tea and a tea bag. I feel like I've touched on this already in my last um, entry in Jennifer's Corner with my first one. And, but it's I, I, said to, I still have to talk about it because it's something that's really, really, really frustrating me and it's, I'm struggling with it. Um, so I decided to give myself little tips and or like little things I can do that could possibly work and what I would advise for somebody else. I'm trying in a, in a sense I'm trying to take my own advice. That's what it really is. In order for me to step out of my comfort zone, I feel like I have to start off with something small. I mean, sometimes I have to um sometimes I don't mind doing something drastic and just jumping off the deep end and doing it, but in this case, I feel like start up a little something a little bit smaller let it be something small and then congratulate myself for doing that you know because that's a slight little milestone that I was able to get over you know and then after that I would probably no after that I would or I will do something um extremely outside of my comfort zone only because I feel like maybe if you do something drastic like something way opposite of what you would normally do in a good sense you know um then every attempt after that should be a piece of cake i'm starting to realize two things one is that i have an issue where it's hard sometimes for me to differentiate between comfort zone and then the complacency and i'm just sitting here so i'm sitting here as i'm talking and i'm thinking sometimes i really do I ride that line or that gray area in between because I'm confused about what each thing actually is, you know. I think I feel or I think I'm starting to understand that if I'm doing something outside of my comfort zone and it feels, and the only thing that's stopping me basically is me and my own fear of it or the fear of the, un of, of the, or the, fear of the unknown, um, then that's okay because fear is something that you can get over they said it's, a, it's a, you can always conquer your fears you know um but in contrast to that if there is something that makes me feel disconnected you know then maybe it's not for me it's not aligned for me to do that so that's not that's where i'm at with it i hope i hope this is making sense it's like even if i do step out of my comfort zone and whatever the outcome is what if i don't like it you know um that's not the point. The point is, how do I feel knowing that I just did something that I would normally never do? If that makes me feel like, you, girl, you, you know, like, I would be okay. Like, I would rather that than sit there and be like, okay, if I don't take that chance, that's like a 100% chance of not getting anything done. I'm trying to figure out what exactly I want to say and what's bothering me and just let it all flow out and i don't want to get up here and start feeling like oh i'm about to just like suck the life out of everybody who's watching it or oh she's always complaining about something you know because even if it may not seem like i complain a lot to me it feels like i do you know the next thing i want to do is um surround myself with like-minded people and people who are also trying to achieve their goals because I think I'm at a point in my life, and I'm glad I know now, um, because I keep saying, oh, I'm 25, 25. It just, to me, it feels like I'm old. 
<laughs> I have this thing where I start to tell myself, oh my god, 25 is too late, it's all this type of stuff, you know? But it's really not, and it's just me having another reason to not do something. So that's out, and I'm not doing that. But back to me surrounding myself with like-minded people, I just want to, and I ha that's, that has a lot to do with why I don't have that many friends, if any friends at all, you know? Um... And I know a lot of people who say, oh, I don't have any friends. It's not like a woe is me thing. It's just like I'm really picky and I'm, ve I'm very picky and choosy about who, um, whose vibes I want around me, if that makes sense, you know. I'd rather be around people who have like higher frequencies and who, who want to do more. You know, they're trying to do the same thing. Like say you want to start a business and stuff and you're actually actively working on it. You know, those are the people you need you need to and I need to surround myself with if you want to get outside your comfort zone as well and then you know keep that that motivation behind you you know because I feel like if I'm around people who like constantly drain the life out of me they just suck suck everything out of me and it's just nobody wants to be around that and I don't want to be that for anybody else you know so the times I get in my moods where I'm just like don't talk to me don't no get away like when I get in my mood I choose to keep to myself I bottle it all up I stay stay like a little hermit crab and I keep to myself because I rather do that and that's just how I am naturally but I rather do that than sit there and kind of bleed my energy off on like that negative energy on somebody who else somebody else who's actually happy and enjoying their phase in life or you know like they might have had like some good news happen and here I come like Debbie Downer you know I don't want to be that way so I'm just like okay if I get in those moods I tend to be to myself and I think that's out of respect for them and their space and me and mine um and then the last thing I did I did this I did this not too long ago and I'm and and it helped me a lot to not make I guess so many excuses because I'm still human. I'm going to make my little mistakes or whatever. But I made a list of things that were what I consider to be problems, you know. And then I made a separate list of solutions, you know. And then out of that entire list, none of them were problems that could really, like, stop me from doing what I wanted to do. Last, my last list, not really a list. It was just, like, a compare and contrast thing where I compared, like, the the best possible outcome to the worst case scenario and the worst case scenarios are not even that bad so you guys I'm just I'm just battling with myself and I'm trying to appreciate where I am in life and the fact that I'm going through all these things now because when I do when I do start my businesses and I do have the things I want I'm going to need these things or these moments to be like, okay, Kathy, you've been here before. And not saying that it will all fall and crumble and stuff like that because it's not going to happen. But I'm sure owning your own business and all those things, you're going to have your little ups and downs. And these are the times, those are going to be the times when I need to revert back to this Kathy and be like, okay, when you felt like this, how do you overcome it? You know? I feel like just knowing what I want to do, that's the easiest part. But executing and maintaining and all that stuff that's going to be the hardest thing but it's, it's possible and it's just a, just the fact that everything that I want is possible and I know for sure I'm going to do it that's enough for me to be like okay Kathy come on let's put these plans into action you know with all with all the chaos and and the this the scrambling and the overthinking and stuff that's in my head I can still, and I appreciate this about myself, I can still find the peace within myself to know that everything is still going to be fine. I just have to reassure myself or, you know, sometimes come back to my, like, come back and center myself and then realize and tell myself, Kathy, you got this, you know. Without the help of somebody else having to encourage me, I need to have my own back and say, you're good enough, you know, or like, you can do it. And why, you know what I'm saying? Why? Why are you not as deserving as the next person? Because you know that you are, you know? So, I don't know, guys. I'm going to figure it all out because I don't have a choice, okay? I, I, don't, have, I, don't, have, I don't have a choice. So I'm also trying to organize a lot of my stuff. Just side note, um, just with my YouTube channel and my Instagram, a lot of things are going to be a lot more organized and themed. So that's another thing I'm working on too. I'm still I'm still trying to find my my style. 
you know and when I really when I really did start this my first ever video on YouTube I didn't know the direction that I wanted to go and now I kind of have a clearer picture of where I want this channel to go and I'm realizing that I'm going to need this channel <laughs> for a lot of a lot of my my goals you know um so of course it started off with me saying that I want to show my growth and that's never going to change but I just see so much more potential in my channel so this is going to be fun and it's going to be a ride but I'm so ready and I'm excited for the future so um you guys I will see you in my next video I have no idea what I'm going to post next oh and even so, like this whole me being into October and the fall and everything, I had so many ideas of what I wanted to post and um, the, the content on my channel, especially for this month. And I just didn't get around to it because all of it had to do with my comfort zone and me being scared and like, oh my gosh, you know, maybe that's too much. Can I actually pull that off and stuff? So we're actually like done now with October. So I, that means I have to, you know, find a way to make things work for the next month which is which is fine and i'm starting to realize okay i'm gonna have to plan things out further on like further out so i'll plan things like ahead a month ahead before i post things but i'm getting it all together i'm getting myself organized and i'm enjoying and i'm still having fun with it that's what i, I still want to have fun with it um i love posting these videos because i feel good knowing that i have complete control over what i post um and I think as a creative, that's that's always a, a that's always one one thing we we look forward to. So, and then everything that I want to do, like with the businesses I want to start, um, I can't do it alone. So I love the fact that I am willing to accept help. If I was a, if, if I was the type of person who was always stubborn, like I got it, I can do it by myself and stuff. To some extent, I am. Like to some extent, like if you knew me personally, you would know that I don't like to depend on any other. I don't like to depend on anybody else, and it drives me crazy when I have to depend. I have to, you know, I have to wait on somebody. That drives me crazy. But if I'm being realistic with life in general, you're always gonna need somebody. So I have to also be able to put that type of mindset on the back burner and will be willing to accept the help. Thanks for joining me in another Jennifer's Corner video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one and you stick around and you like where this little channel evolves to. Um, okay. And I will see you in my next video.